Hey guys, Jason Sheeran here. Today, I'm, I want to address something that very few of you might know about. And before I get into it, let's go through the basics. You know about the dinosaurs, right? You've at least heard about them. You know, about the T-Rex, the Triceratops, Stegosaurus, Apatosaurus, Ankylosaurus, and because of Jurassic Park, the Raptors. You've at least heard of those dinosaurs. And if I showed you a picture of that dinosaur and I asked you what it was, anyone would probably know what it was. Anyway, there is this one dinosaur that does appear in a lot of films, but doesn't get taken seriously. You want to know why that's the case? Because people keep mistaking it for a T-Rex. If you're a dinosaur nerd like me, you'll know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a dinosaur called the Giganotosaurus. Or the Giganotosaurus, however you want to say it. There's actually multiple ways of pronouncing it. Don't believe me? Look it up. Anyway, as I was saying, the Giganotosaurus is a predatory dinosaur the second largest terrestrial carnivore to have ever lived. The first being the infamous Spinosaurus from Jurassic Park 3. Let's, we're, not, we're not talking about the Spinosaur though. We're talking about the Giganotosaurus. But anyway, the Giganotosaurus is a prehistoric carnivorous dinosaur even bigger than T-Rex. And there is a difference between Giganotosaurus and Tyrannosaurus Rex. They're a huge, huge difference. And I'm here to tell you those differences. Let's get started. Let's start with the T-Rex. Yes, you all know the T-Rex. He is very well known. He's been very well known even before Jurassic Park. Here's some facts about the T-Rex. The T-Rex lived in Cretaceous North America 65 million years ago when the last of the dinosaurs existed. It is the fourth largest predatory dinosaur. It had small arms with two fingers on each hand. Only two. And it had a huge bite force, 500 pounds. It had 12 inch teeth, jaws as long as four feet, and in length it was about 40 feet long and weighed about six to eight tons. The T-Rex was a killing machine. Actually, people don't know whether it was a killing machine or a scavenger. Now that we've got the facts for T-Rex out of the way, Let's take a look at the facts for Giganotosaurus. The Giganotosaurus was discovered in South America, in Argentina, 79 million years ago, before the T-Rex. And it was 46 feet long and weighed nine tons. So even bigger than T-Rex. And one thing about the Giganotosaurus is that it was not even close to as deadly as T-Rex. You know how the Tyrannosaurus has a huge bite force and whatnot? But Giganotosaurus has a three times less deadly bite. It's not nearly as deadly as the T-Rex. Though it can still snap you in half if it wanted to. And also, the um, Giganotosaurus was a little bit taller as well. The T-Rex was about 20 feet tall, and the Giganotosaurus was about 23 feet tall. And T-Rex means Tyrant Lizard King, and, G and Giganotosaurus means Giant Southern Lizard. Oh, here's another thing. When the Giganotosaurus appears in a film, people either mistake it for a T-Rex or mispronounce its name. The common misconception is the Gigantosaurus, which doesn't exist. 
It's the Giganotosaurus' name has nothing to do with gigantic. Gigantosaurus means gigantic lizard. Giganotosaurus means giant southern lizard. Yeah, so there's the difference between the T-Rex and the Giganotosaurus. Who would win in a fight? Well, technically they never lived in the same continent or even the same period. So I wouldn't know for sure, but I'd probably say the T-Rex because of its greater bite force. Or the Giga could win. Like, so it, it is possible that the Giga could win. Remember, it's only slightly bigger than the T-Rex. Well, and speaking of which, have any of you ever heard of the game Ark Survival Evolved? Well, their version of the Giganotosaurus is about twice the size of the T-Rex, which is not the case at all. I just wanted to throw that out there. There is a difference between the Tyrannosaurus Rex and the Giganotosaurus. Yeah, if you found that helpful, leave a like on the video and subscribe to my channel for more. And I'll see you guys in the next one.